Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be making lemon poppy seed muffins with a topping of cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and crushed almonds. So let's get started. I have prepared my oven at a 375 and I have sprayed my muffin pan with a non-stick spray. And so let's get started. I'm going to do my dry ingredients first and then I'm going to go on to my wet ingredients so that all the ingredients in this recipe can mix nicely. So we have our flour that we started off in our bowl. I have some Splenda sugar. Another option for your sugar, you can use monk sugar, cane sugar. I just started using those types of sugars and I find that I like working with those alternatives uh, for my recipes and they come up quite nice. This time I'm using my Splenda. I'm going to be adding some salt and then my baking powder. And then I'm going to be adding in my poppy seeds. Now you can add uh, as much poppy seeds as you like. I'm just doing about a tablespoon of them. So now we're going to be mixing in those dry ingredients to get that good balance. Alright, so then now I'm going to be grating some of my lemon zest. So we're just going to put the lemon peel, we're going to grate it. I like lots of lemon flavor, so we're just going to add the whole lemon of the zest. There we go. So we have a nice portion of our lemon zest. Another option that you can do is you can peel your lemon peel and then break it up into smaller pieces if you prefer that. I've done that for other recipes and it tastes just as nice. So now that we have our lemon zest, we're going to go on to our wet ingredients. Now that all my dry ingredients are in my bowl, I'm going to go on to adding my wet ingredients now. So I have some eggs, some melted butter, milk, I'm going to mix these up. I'm going to add some vanilla. And then I'm going to be adding in some lemon juice from the lemon that I used the peel from for the zest. So I have the lemon juice. And then I'm going to be adding in some sour cream. I'm going to mix these ingredients up and then I'm going to start pouring them into my muffin tray. Once I finish putting them into the tray, I have some pumpkin seeds, some sliced almonds, as well with some cranberries that I'm going to be topping them off with, which will be a nice addition to this muffin. This recipe only calls for the ingredients that I put in, but I like to add a little bit more to this recipe, which is nice. All right, so once this is ready, I'll show you how I will put them into the tray, and then I will put them into the oven, bake them, and then once they're finished, I'll show you what those look like as well. So now that my mix with all the ingredients for the muffins is complete, I'm going to now spoon out a portion to each muffin filling, and then I'm going to finish them uh, with our cranberries and our pumpkin seed as well 
uh, with our crushed almonds. So I'm gonna first put a little bit in each and then I might go back and add additional amounts. So I just wanna make sure that the, each muffin filling has the same amount. Now these are a large size muffin. I also in the past have made muffins smaller than this so that I can make more. You can also turn this into more of a cake if you want that as well. So that's a good option about this recipe. It's quite um, diverse and gives you options there. So we have our final muffin right there. And then now I'm going to go over them one more time with the remaining of my ingredients here. And then I will top them. Sometimes as well, another rec recommendation is you can mix your cranberries inside of the batter if you'd like. Um, this time I'm going to put them just on top. Now that my muffin batter is evenly distributed throughout my muffin tray, I have some pumpkin seeds that I'm gonna now top off each muffin with. And then I'm also gonna put some crushed almond slices. And then as well with some cranberries. Once I have all my muffin tops completed, I'm gonna put in the oven and when it's fully baked, I'm gonna show you what they look like. My lemon poppy seed muffins have been baking in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. They're now complete. They're fully cooked, a nice scent of that lemon poppy seed with a pop, and it now has this nice finish of the pumpkin seeds, almonds, and cranberries. I can't wait to try these out. If you like this recipe and you wanna see more like this, please subscribe to our channel. Hit that share, like, and that bell notification. Whoa, whoa.